Tremors. Look like you ate too much. And here is the Flag Mountain Tower. It's so pretty up here. Got a track. Dang. No epic vantage point today. Funny how things come full circle sometimes because I went up to the cabin area. There I met Sunny, aka Nimble Will Nomad. I read his 10 Million Steps book when I had never been on a backpacking trip. It's his documented journey of doing the Eastern Continental Trail, which goes all the way from Key West up into Canada. So as I was feeling anxious about starting the AT, it just gave me some peace of mind about doing that trail and just reading his experience as the days led up to when I started my AT through hike. So getting to meet him here on the Penhody Trail in my home state is just, I don't know, it's just kind of neat how, how different people's paths cross at different times. I had aimed to start this trail about seven months ago, but I'm here now and that's all that matters. And I've only gone about two or three miles so far today, uh, but it's been a pretty big day. Here's the first shelter. Ooh. Cute. I only got about two or three hours of sleep last night because no matter how many times I go on backpacking trips, I still get so anxious the night before and I can't sleep. But I woke up bright and early and headed to Sylacauga, Alabama area, and I parked my truck at the Penhody Outdoor Center where I met Nathan and Kim Wright, who, by the way, are awesome people. They've got the hostel there and they do shuttle services. They shuttled me to the trailhead and then I went up to Flag Mountain and got to see the tower that's unfortunately closed right now. So far, the people that I've met have been absolutely amazing, very hospitable, and it already seems like there's a pretty tight-knit and very supportive community around hikers here on the Pinhoney Trail. I wanted to fill y'all in on my gear plans for my through hike of this trail and also tell y'all some info about the Penhody itself for those of y'all who aren't familiar with this trail. The southern terminus of the Penhody is located here in my home state of Alabama near Weogufka. And then the trail spans northeast up into North Georgia where it intersects the Benton McKay Trail, which is the northern terminus of the Penhody. The Penhody Trail, like the Appalachian Trail, is a section of the much larger Eastern Continental Trail, which I would love to eventually complete all the sections for. You might notice that the blaze for the Penhody Trail is a turkey foot, and that's because the word Penhody derives from the Creek Indian word, which means turkey home. Construction of the Alabama Penhody Trail began in 1970 and was officially completed in 2008. According to the Georgia Penhody Trail Association, the original plan for the Appalachian Trail was laid out in 1925 at a conference and this plan showed a main trail running from Cahutta Mountain in North Georgia all the way up to Mount Washington in New Hampshire. And then it showed a spur that would take place from there up to Maine on Mount Katahdin 
and that spur was completed in 1940. And they said that there was also a plan for a spur to be established from North Georgia into Northern Alabama, but that one has still not happened yet. For many years, Alabama and Georgia hiking groups have been advocating for the Appalachian Trail to be extended down through the Alabama Penhody, which would mean that the beginning of the Appalachian Trail would be Flag Mountain. Now, if that will ever happen, who knows, but just a little bit of trivia for you. I decided to through hike the Penhody for several reasons. The first being because it's here in Alabama and I've spent so much time in other states exploring them and now even in other countries, but I really haven't spent a whole lot of time in the wilderness here in Alabama. So I thought this would be a good way to do that. Also, I wanted to highlight a shorter trail that people who might not be able to dedicate five to six months to a through hike might be able to do a 350 ish mile trail, especially if they have summers off. So it would be a good way to kind of spread the word about the Pinhoti Trail and allow people to see that this is something that they can do even in larger sections, or again, a through hike might be feasible for more people than a through hike of the AT or one of the other Triple Crown Trails. Plus there really isn't a plethora of information out there about the Pinhoti like there is about other long distance trails. So I'm excited to be able to share some of that with y'all. The Pinhoti the trail is over 300 miles long and since it begins here in my home state then it's convenient for me to switch out gear along the way so I knew this would be a great opportunity to test several different gear items back to back to back. In videos from earlier this year I've introduced most of the new gear that I'll be testing out on this trail like the pack that I'm currently wearing the ULA Ohm 2.0 and once I finish my through hike of the Pinhoni Trail and I'm done testing all of this new gear then I'll come out with a series of my favorites because honestly I'm hoping that I'll have some new favorites since I've been pretty much stuck on the same gear since my Triple Crown journey. That is my plan for this trail. I figured it would be a good time to kill two birds with one stone but not actually harm any birds. I'm really looking forward to sharing my home state with y'all from what I've seen of this trail so far. I'm kind of impressed with Alabama. I mean we are known as Alabama the beautiful, but I just really haven't explored a nature much up here and I'm kind of embarrassed that I haven't done this trail yet, honestly. But thanks for watching y'all and we will see y'all next time.